Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Before I show you my favorite ways to store my Christmas decorations, I thought I'd show you my sweet tree that we did this year. Usually we do peppermints, reds, and silvers, but this year we stepped away and did a candy tree. My boys absolutely loved it. You could see they helped me with those heart candy canes, which my son actually came up with that. I thought it was a brilliant idea. We also strung Fruit Loops as garland. We had a lot of fun making memories. To the right of the tree here, I hung some ribbon and I put my son's artwork at the top. And I also, each time I got a holiday card, hung them up with clothespins. So getting right to it, here's the first thing that I do. I take down the cards, I cut the pictures out, and I either use them as tags for presents the following year, or you could punch a hole in them, put a string around it, and use them on the Christmas tree as Christmas ornaments. It's actually a super cute, inexpensive way to decorate a Christmas tree. Here I have all the ornaments that I took off the tree. I made these with cellophane and inside is actually a pool noodle. I just sliced it very thin. Here are the candy cane hearts. I think these were my favorite. I absolutely love these. And I have lollipops that I also hung on the tree. Here I bagged them up using a Ziploc bag. I'm actually going to save these for next year. They have so many preservatives in them, they actually do last. Now I do have them separately in Ziploc bags and then I'm gonna put this whole box in a extra large Ziploc bag that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna put it in a clear container that has a nice lid on it. I usually just do Ziplocs, but because it is food, I like to keep it in a stored container. Here I have a large vacuum storage bag that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I like to put my holiday pillows as well as my holiday throws inside them. Here it is all bagged up. And I had another one to put these two pillows in. Here I'm bagging these stockings, which I've had for eight years, and they last pretty well if you store them nicely. The one thing I love about Ziplocs is that they are clear, so it's just easy to get to anything that you need. So here's the tree skirt, the lights, and then I'm just gonna place them in a box. Ziploc bags and cardboard boxes, inexpensive and an easy way to stay organized. I bought these little glitter balls from the Dollar Tree we strung them on fishing string. To prevent them from tangling up, I like to tape it to the cardboard box and then I twirl it around. Once it's the end of the strand, I tape it and then I tape the new one. I go around and then I tape the end of it and I keep doing that until they're all on here. Here's another little hack that I do. I buy a suit storage bag from the Dollar Tree and I put my Christmas wrapping paper in it. Now not all the wrapping paper can fit in here. It depends on how long your tubes are, but these fit perfectly. I'm gonna throw in those tags that we had made. We'll use them on presents next year. I'm gonna hang this upstairs in the attic so this hook works better for me, but using a regular hanger might help distribute the weight a little better. If you do want to use a hook, again, I got it at the Dollar Tree. I had another suit bag, so I ended up splitting up the wrapping paper. Here's the tree without any ornaments. Now, the tree that we did have, I could have kept it up for Valentine's Day. It was a sweet tree, so it would have been appropriate. However, I did want to donate this tree. I've had it for nine years, and I wanted to purchase a new one for next year. So I donated it to someone who needed it. I don't store my trees in anything fancy. I just store them in the regular box, just like my other stuff. I hope these inexpensive hacks were helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.